Hey guys, and welcome to the third part of my somewhat late Silent Hill downpour let's play. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to carry on from where I was, if I can remember where I was, what I was doing. And yeah, so I'm just going to carry on. So, this time I'm going to try and be a little bit more... search uh, I'm gonna be trying to be a little bit more loud somewhat and enthusiastic maybe is the word I don't know I'm trying to work out what I'm doing here my search <laughs> oh. what have I done That was supposed to happen, right? This be fun. Why would you even consider doing this? I mean, if you saw dead bodies sitting on a table after all you'd been through, why would you even consider looking inside them for a key? And a small piece of paper, where's that? Turned out to be. I don't know. It's showing me. Whatever then. What's that? It's the rest of the rhyme. Wonder if that kid will let me through the door now. I've got all the rhyme. Oh, trophy. Pleasant surprise. Normally, when I unlock trophies, the PS3 really lags up, and for about five, six seconds, it just does nothing. Hang on, there's a door behind me. I haven't looked in. Assuming it even opens, oh it does. Anything nice in here then? Uh, oh, what was that? What was the cupboard, wasn't it? And, oh, what have we got? Oh, a med kit. Nice. And, another file. After numerous attempts utilizing the latest in experimental treatment conventions, I feel that patient. <clears throat> has scribbled no recuperative progress. In fact, I find that <clears throat> has indeed regressed and that any further treatment of this nature, regardless of intensity and or frequency, will be of no help in curing his strange social disorder. My recommendation is that a full frontal lobotomy be conducted at the soonest opportunity. Sincerely, Dr. Chloe Zane, attending psychiatrist. I do hope that Eventually we do find out who all these files are about. Assumedly they're going to be something to do with Murphy as to why he was locked up and we're going to discover his story. So where was this boy anyway? I haven't got a clue for the life of me anymore. Could be anywhere. Pretty sure he was on the first floor. Just Oh, is that where the circle was, I guess? How do I get back there? There's a staircase right next to me. I don't suppose that's got any use. Oh, maybe it does. That's not too bad then. Uh... See, now I can't tell if, not, if the static radio... Ah, it's freezing. The static radio thing is going off for any real reason or is it just those silly corpses that I dug through to get the key another empty room is there anything in the drawers in here or are there any drawers that can even be opened would be nice I don't think there's anything at all in here oh we can jump over where does this take me is that locked? Is that what I got the key for, I guess? Uh, 
Where does that lead to? Oh, it leads back out there. I see, I see, I see. Let me check the other room over here first then. Always check every room before you leave a place because you don't know what you could be missing. Shower block, bathroom, by the looks of things. I don't know if there's anything there. Are we going to get another one of those silly cutscenes now with that guy in the shower? There's nothing in here at all. Can we turn on the showers? No. Well, uh, the opening bit. I found the opening bit of Silent Hill Downpour a bit. It wasn't unsettling per se, but the way it just thrust you in, it was like, right, here's a knife. Now, please stab and kill. Well, I don't suppose he did technically kill, but he did beat him pretty heavily and stab him up and whatever else. A supposedly innocent man. He's probably not innocent because he was in prison and I don't know particularly what he was. But, oh, come on. That wasn't fair. You can stay there. I'm not even bothered to attack you. Oh, I wish doors would close. There we go. What's that? That's a shovel. I'll keep my axe, I think. The kid is to my right, so let's see what the kid has to say now that I've got the poem. Hello, little kid. Hey, kid. I got the rhyme. I say it and you open the door. That's how it works, right? Hey, did you hear me? I said... Hey! Kid! Look out, it's... Get out of there! Come on! That was the most feeble kick I've ever seen. Charlie! 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 Mr. Pendleton, I have to ask you to leave, sir. We've got everything under control. Where's my son? Where's Charlie? Please, Mr. Pendleton, you don't want to be here. Let one of my officers drive you back to the command center, and we'll call you. Where's my boy? Is he out there? Charlie! Charlie! That face looks like the same boy just in a girl's dress. That thing is in there. It 
It's not yeah, watch out. Hunt can rid of the evils in there. <laughs> right. So. I have no idea what really the point of that was. We're in a new area, but at the same time, there isn't exactly much left to see, so there must be something quite major happening in these last few rooms. This might be perhaps where that, that, um, none. We're not going there then. The nun that we saw at the start, she said, meet in the east wing, I think it was, and we are. No, I should tell a lie. I'm getting mixed up in the direction that's rather embarrassing. It's now the west wing. Well, not that it makes any difference at all, because now we've gone to the other world. There's going to be another one of those silly chase sequences with the red um, light. Oh, wait. Stop running. It's not safe. It's a shame the, the other world really isn't used very well in this game. Because. Oh, where do we go? Not killing statue. Oh, holding the wall right. But yeah, Otherworld in Silent Hill of old was more than just a silly sequence. It was a full-blown world. See, this is all just a bit pointless, really. I mean, nothing's happening. I'm just chasing a kid at the moment. There's nothing to stop me, no obstacles, no puzzles. I've got a feeling we might bump into that big guy that we keep seeing some point soon. A bit like the executioner from Resident Evil. Resident Evil 5, anyway. Yeah. 